London, England, February 12, 1941. On the 159th day of Hitler's bombing of Britain, Rose Teasdale was typing correspondence in room 60 of Winston Churchill's underground cabinet war rooms. A soft patter of keys, striking the inked cloth ribbon, emanated from her Remington noiseless typewriter. As typists pressed their carriage return levers, their eyes remained steadfast on their handwritten notes. The secretarial staff, crammed inside the masonry bunker with several switchboard operators, was drafting documents generated by a frenzied afternoon of cabinet meetings. One of your reports will help lead us to victory, Rose whispered to Lucy, a young bespectacled typist sitting next to her. Lucy, her shoulders slumped from fatigue, smiled and increased her words-per-minute pace. Room 60, a twenty-by-twenty-foot bunker deep beneath the Treasury Building in Westminster, was one of several chambers in Churchill's cabinet war rooms. Instead of containing military officials, Room 60 was comprised of civilian women. Seven switchboard operators, wearing headsets and poking corded plugs into a wall of communication circuitry, sat on swivelling bar-like stools, with their backs to the typists. The rest of the space was comprised of several typists sitting at small wooden desks. It was a tight space for the women, but Rose, a petite five-foot-tall, twenty-two-year-old woman, didn't mind the cramped quarters. Unlike the other women, who were much taller, Rose had short legs that fit splendidly under her desk. Some of the typists, including Rose, were products of Mrs. Hoster's Secretarial Training College in London, which had a brilliant reputation for turning out dependable assistants. And Rose believed that this schooling likely had something to do with her accelerated path to Room 60. She had not set out to work in the heart of the British military command, but when Hitler began his aerial bombing campaign on London back in September, Rose, working as a secretary in the Treasury Building, was provided security clearance, led by a military guard to the basement of the building, and given a new assignment. Typist for the Cabinet War Rooms. The initial days of working in the war rooms were unnerving for Rose. The close proximity of the Prime Minister and senior officers gave her a bout of the jitters, causing her to type mistakes and, on one occasion, spill a tepid cup of tea on a document she had drafted. The burnt scent of Churchill's cigar, which lingered in the stagnant basement air, had turned her stomach sour. To compound matters, the Luftwaffe air raids, which occurred on an almost nightly basis, had forced many Londoners to spend nights in shelters, and when she wasn't sleeping between shifts in the sub-basement below the war rooms, often referred to as the dock, Rose had spent nights, as the city was bombarded, with her parents in the Bethnal Green tube station. 